What's up, folks? Listen, after reading that title, listen, we focusing on that gravy, right? Today, check it out. We making the chorizo gravy. Let's get it. Okay, folks, listen, I'm finna jump right into this, right? Now I got two nine ounce tubes of pork chorizo, right? This right here is so over the top with flavor. If you guys haven't had this, listen, and they sell this everywhere. You should be able to get it at your local grocery store. You know what I mean? Uh, if you can't order it, it is really, really worth getting it. Now, first thing I'm getting ready to do is heat up my pan, right? Now we want to put some heat in here because if you ever work with chorizo before, listen, you'll see the texture and everything, how it comes out of here. And if you want to know exactly what it is, this is like a pork, like a, like a, a pork sausage that's just like, when I say way over the top, I mean it's way over the top with flavor, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead while this is heating up, address the fact that I got biscuits in here, right? Now listen, I just did a video where I did a, let me see what it was. I guess it was a, it was a bacon cheddar buttermilk biscuit, right? Super easy to make, a little bit time consuming to make, you know what I mean? But for me today, I use Grand's buttermilk biscuits. That's what I got in there. But I'll leave a link right up here at the top so you guys can see, right? So I still wanna get some heat in here. I'm just waiting for this to heat up, right? All right, so we got some good heat, right? So look, this is what I'm getting ready to do. I'm getting ready to cut this like this, right? When you cut it, look, you just wanna take it and then work your way down. Pause. Now I'm gonna take it. Now you wanna have some high heat on here. You know what I mean? Cause if you look at it, it's full of oil. You know what I mean? So we gotta get it and get it to, you know, cook down, right? So this right here is everything that you see all the way down to the little bit of smoke. This is all part of the process. Now I want you guys to pay attention. You see this right here? It take, look at all of that that it renders down. This is why it takes just a little bit. You know what I mean? You know, to cook it down you know, to get it to sort of like dry out and cook, right? So it can become a little bit more like, you know, like sausage that we, you know, traditionally know. But you just gotta work with it. You know what I mean? I'm gonna spread it out like this because we want to go ahead and get it maximum, maximum coverage, right? It usually takes about seven minutes. You know what I mean? This is what I like. Now, if you guys got any stickage on the bottom of here, you know what I mean? It's no problem. You know why? Because we bring the acid. We finna bring the acid, you know, from the onions and that'll pick up everything, right? So we'll just get all of this in here like this and we'll work it in there. This makes for a cold uh, chili too. Now look at that right there. This is what you want. And when I tell you it's flavorful, you guys gotta believe that. You know what I mean? If you never had it, if you had this before, you know, you're probably thinking to yourself like, hey, how come I ain't never thought about doing that with the gravy? You know, making a gravy out of this right here, right? So now that we have this, now I'm getting ready to take my flour and I'm getting ready to sprinkle it over the top, right? We want to cook that flour taste out of here and kind of like let it just dry up all of the juices and all of the flavor. And speaking of that, I think my, while I do that, I'm going to check my biscuits because I think they ready. Let's take a look at them, folks. I, I'm going to go ahead and call these good because they're going to brown on their own anyway. But you see those right there? You guys are all familiar with those. Use your favorite brand or make them fresh, right? So I'm going to take these, stage them over here. I'll just reduce my heat down to a medium low, right? Now we're getting ready to come with, you know what we're going to do, folks. And then we just give it a mix. Get everything incorporated. Let it thicken up. Look at that right there. You can see the flavor, folks. Now I reserve myself a little bit back, right? Just, because, just in case I let it go too far. You know what I mean? Meaning like it's gotten too thick, we can always just add a little bit more to it just to thin it out. But we wanna bring it back to a simmer and then we're gonna go to our desired thickness. All right, so I want you guys to see, I hope you guys can see the thickness. This is what I'm, I'm looking to get. I don't wanna get no thicker. So I'm gonna turn it off now, right? And then as it cools, it kind of like thickens up too. If it gets a little bit more than this, I just add just a little bit, you know, more there in here. That's why I reserve some, right? But look at that right there. This right here is fire, folks. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open these up. Whew. Look at that right there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep one like that. You know what I mean? And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get a ladle and we just gonna ladle some of that gravy on there. 
Okay, folks, look, you see it right there. And you know what? If you guys been following me for a minute, you know I keep that chicken and dewy sausage on deck, right? So let me just go ahead and get myself a fork. You know what I mean? And, uh, and a knife. And I'm finna dig in. Ain't no need doing all of that. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't care. You know what? Let's just go in like this. You know? This right here is super flavorful. There's very few things that I do that I don't add no seasoning to it. You know what I mean? But, mm. You know what? I'm gonna do it like this. We finna make a combo, right? And I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna tell you something that you guys, some of you guys, are not gonna be able to see it, but you can actually take it and put a little jelly on here to go along with the whole thing. Do biscuit, the chorizo uh, gravy, the andouille sauces or the sauces, smoked sauces of your your choice, and that jelly too. Mm. Now, you know, when I want to pop my collar, I say something like, you know, whatever I be saying, right? Even pat myself on the back, drop the fork. But this right here make me take this fork and want to throw it at the camera. This right here is right, folks. Now, you got to let me know down in the comment section below. Now, hold up. So, listen, I done told you guys everything about it. You really got to try this. And those of you guys ever had chorizo, you can like kind of like get a, a flavor profile in your brain and you know. So, let me just say this. When you try it, please come back and tell me what you think about this. This right here over anything will be fire. So, with that being said, you know how I do. Listen, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button to tell everybody out there. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. Now, for the four people that's behind this camera right now, now y'all can eat. Let's go. Peace.